After the massacre at Stoneman Douglas High School, school districts all over Metro Atlanta have seen an increase in threats made on social media, and we've seen a number of teenagers arrested. Atlanta police, the FBI, and the GBI all investigating after threats were made at four Atlanta high schools. Maynard Jackson, South Atlanta, Carver, and Washington. Now, police across Metro Atlanta want teenagers to know these threats are not a joke. In fact, their crimes. Fox 5's Deidre Dukes joins us live from Carver High School tonight. Deidre, you talked to local law enforcement about taking all these threats seriously? Yeah, and years ago, before we saw this rise in school shootings, if a student uh, threatened violence, they might be suspended or expelled. A lot of times, these situations were handled internally by schools, but that's not the case anymore. We're often seeing where these students are not only uh, kicked out of school, but oftentimes they face criminal charges and are often arrested. In a letter emailed to parents Monday morning, Atlanta Public School Superintendent Maria Kostarfin assured them the district is taking seriously threats made on social media against Carver High School and three other APS high schools on Friday. APS officials confirm this Instagram post is one of the threatening posts made against their schools on social media. APS among several school districts statewide seeing an increase in threats of violence in the wake of the deadly shooting at a Florida high school earlier this month. The challenge is always staying ahead and being aware of warning signs um, when you have anyone who's exhibiting warning signs of potential tendencies towards violence. Gwinnett County Schools and law enforcement officials took swift action when a 16-year-old student reportedly made a threat against South Gwinnett High School on social media. That student was identified and arrested over the weekend. He faces charges of making terroristic threats and possible school disciplinary action. That is an example of when everybody did what they were supposed to do. Similar scenes playing out in other jurisdictions in the wake of the Florida shooting, with school and police officials taking a tough stance against students threatening violence. Gwinnett County Sheriff's Deputy Shannon Volkadovs credits an alert student for authorities' quick response at South Gwinnett. A student saw that. A student reported it and the Snowball Police Department acted very quickly and it was a good ending. APS Superintendent Kerstarfin has increased police presence on the affected campuses and reminds students of the criminal consequences of posting threats on social media. And as we've seen time and time again, whether it be a phone call or on social media where these threats are made, for instance, these incidents are actively investigated and oftentimes, more than not, the person making these threats, they are tracked down and sometimes, oftentimes, more than not, arrested in this day and age. And that's the latest here in Atlanta. I'm Deidre Dukes, Fox 5 News. All right. Thanks so much, Deidre.